Hello everyone, today in this video we will be discussing the first module of 18 CS45 which is object oriented programming. So these are the super important questions. From each module I have selected 5 or 6 uh, super important questions. So if you want a detailed answer you, you have to watch the theory video. The link is in the description box. This document link is also in the uh, description box. You can go through it. So um, before starting if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because your support helps me make more videos like this. If you have got any doubt uh, ping me on Instagram. Okay. <clears throat> so let's get started the first question is list out the difference between procedure oriented and object oriented program so the main difference uh, between this one and this one is it doesn't have classes it has only functions here it has classes as well as data members functions embedded together and it has some object oriented concepts like the encapsulation polymorphism and inheritance and abs abstraction so those things are there in the object oriented programming and uh, it can implement the real life applications so those are the uh, some of the key points so for the more details you can watch the theory video in that I've explained each key point Okay, <clears throat> so that's what you have to write for the first one. The second one is explain functional overloading. Very, very, very important question, even from the exam point of view, even from your project's perspective, as well as the interview perspective. Right, when you reach the interview stage, at that time also, function overloading is a very important concept. It implements polymorphism. You have to know what is function overloading. It basically means you have two functions. Okay, what you have? Two functions with the same name, but different parameters. What is different? The parameters or the number of parameters is different, but the same name. So if you call a function with... Uh, uh, the same number of parameters as this one so this will be called if you call a function with same number of parameters as this one so this will be called so basically I have to mention that what is a constructor and uh, where is the constructor present it's present inside the class and what is it was what is its main feature why is a constructor present those things you have to know and what are the different types of constructor default constructor parameters as well as copy constructor its syntax and example you have to explain okay next we have the super important concept which are encapsulation polymorphism inheritance and data initialization this all examples and as well as the uh, theory regarding it as well as the definition part with a uh, real life application all you have to uh, explain in this concept then only you will be getting full marks next one is how do namespace help in preventing uh, pollution of global uh, namespace namespace is nothing but a defined sp uh, a space defined as a name right there is a space or a code this is defined as a name so that can be referred in the different part of the code that is called as namespace what are reference variables explain how to swap two variables in c++ very important question from exam point of view make sure you go through it that's all for module one and um, like uh, hit the like button subscribe to my channel your support helps me make more videos like this thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one